I'm slowly but surely the other. relationship broke down, or is this? Uh, was there? Oh, is, we got two kids. I think it's like this for almost kids. any marriage, except for that we have. The thing is, we have a traditional marriage. I make all the money, and she raises the kids. But mm -hmm. we have a traditional marriage in 2007, which means that, that you can't just say it's that. not traditional. No, I don't get <laughs> to say, I, I bring home the bacon. Right. You watch the kids. You That's fry it up in a pan. Fry it up in a pan. Yeah, it doesn't work like that. I bring home the bacon. I fry it up in the pan. I feed it to the kids. And I, if I mention that I pay the bills, I'm a fucking asshole. Like, I'm a piece of shit for, like, wow. like somehow I'm being a... Uh, prehistoric if I'm but it's true that I pay the you know so yeah. it's it's hard like marriage is harder now I think than it ever ever has been and it's not like this guy he wrote a book the guy we're going to and it's all about how it's hard for marriage now because when the women work my wife doesn't fucking work so, so your theory of your book goes out the fucking window yeah. it's hard but it, mostly it's because you when you have kids you, it's hard to fuck anymore and you also care about your kids far more then you care about your spouse. I don't give a... I mean, my kids are my life now. I really don't give a shit about her. I really don't, because how could I next to I, my kids? I'm laughing because I'm, I'm fucking stunned. It's just like a stunning thing. To be honest. Yeah. The honest well, it's true. If our, kids, if our kids... Look, I've got a lot of history with my wife. And uh, there's a lot... It's a complicated relationship. And I feel I couldn't... You know, I feel a lot of push and pull in many directions. And I'm fighting really hard to save it. We're in therapy. And my whole life right now is focused on saving our relationship and getting it back to but, somewhere good. Right. Oh, but do so you want to save it? It's the biggest deal in my life. But if my kids weren't here... I wouldn't even call her to say goodbye. I just walk. <laughs> I just fucking. I wouldn't leave a note. So, I would yeah. just stop being near so her you're fucking, that's the fucking you're doing, cancerous Louis. body. You're saving it for. The, you're saving <laughs> yeah. it for the kids then. Totally, hundred percent. That's why I'm so glad I never had kids. Oh my god. Because yeah. the the whole thing you're talking about, like I used to get ragged on mm -hmm. for not um, doing, doing things chores. around the house. Right. I had these set chores to do. There weren't right. much. There, but but it was like why. I'm going out. Uh, it's a new career for me doing radio. Yes. I'm really like learning the trade at the time. This was, you know, years ago. And she's not working. Mm -hmm. And and I'm bringing home the money and believe me, a lot more money than I was when I was when we were both working and right. I was knocking tin. Yeah. Uh, but then Well, the money you brought in just to help you out a little bit gave her the luxury of not having to work. Yeah, not having yeah. to work. Right. So, Which so, is kind of key, I think, to yes, the whole thing. But then there'd be these little chores I would have like I'd have to take out the garbage yeah. and it was my job to vacuum and yeah. and like if i didn't do it i would be ragged on like i remember my mother fucking yelling at me mm -hmm. for not vacuuming no and the thing is to me if you don't have kids i don't get any of it and that was it if you're married and you don't have children oh. and you have a bad week <laughs> get that <laughs> fuck <laughs> out oh, why the week. fuck would you save a marriage that's stressful right when you have kids, that's everything. You can't. You got to stay together for for the kids because yep. you got to be. It's not even that they need to have two parents that, to be together. It's just that you want to be there for your children because you you fucking care about them. But it's you got to look at it on the other side. Like the thing about having kids too, is that spend one day if you have kids, spend one full day with them where you're, like every time I give my wife a break. I fucking totally realize what she's going through. It's fucking murder. You want to kill everybody in really? the world when you're alone with kids and you don't have... I mean, I have a job. Even when I'm taking care of the kids, I fucking got my computer on my knee and I'm working. Like I'm fucking writing a movie. Yeah, you're still working. Yeah, I'll call... Just to make myself feel okay about the fucking trap that children feel like on a given day, I'll call my manager and just say, what's going on? And he'll be like, well, we just booked another own a date in Camden. Oh, good. You know, go read a story to my daughter. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I'm not sitting in a room reading fucking uh, The Happy Hen and nothing else is going on. Yeah. I've got a show I just booked in Camden. I'm put on my website. There's people talking about me around the country, uh, yeah. buying tickets to my shows, ordering my DVDs on Amazon. That helps me sit in a room and read to my boring little kids. Kids are... But my wife has fucking nothing except to focus on what a piece of shit I am <laughs> for dropping come into her and making people that have ruined her life. <laughs> That's all she's got. So I, I actually completely see her side to it. We yeah. are... we are, And what we found out in therapy is that we're trapped... And that it's neither of our faults. So how? But, but that doesn't make us go. Oh, okay. the only solution is yeah. killing the children. 
Yeah, that's it. Uh, that's Throwing really... them into a garbage can and letting them die next to a and, rat in a milk cart. And you two just, like, spur of the moment laughing, heading off to the Caribbean. Oh, my God, we'd have a ball. <laughs> just having fun like the old I days. I actually think if, like, when I picture that, if we got rid of the kids, I would walk out the door. Actually, what I'd do is fuck her face and we'd probably get along <laughs> <crazy>. <laughs> well, why, why don't you, uh, Why don't you guys go on vacation together? Leave the kids with one of your parents for a few days. And seriously, go away for a few I days. May, I want to punch you in the face for a Is that bad? Oh, yeah. shit. Is that bad? I don't know. It's like, just so complicated. One of them, she's still breastfeeding the kids who's two, can't get the kid away from her. Is no, it's a mess. Uh, <laughs> never do that. Hey, hey, never do that. Wow, this. man. That's like walking up to a guy in a concentration camp and going, why don't you just take a little trip somewhere and get out of here? If you don't like it here, yeah, yeah. why are you hanging around? No, but I mean, you can't give them to like, your parents or something like that. Because there's Nazis that will shoot me in the face if I leave. <laughs> Two's too young to leave a kid. Wow, man. man. Yeah, two. No, we can't leave a kid. Let's, uh, let's uh, go to Minnesota, I think. Chris, what's up? Hey, love you, love your show. No, if my wife cheated on me, it would change nothing. Yeah. It really wouldn't, really. You wouldn't leave her? It would be leveraged for just the little things during the day. That's all exactly. it would be. You wouldn't leave her? No, because I can't. I, I got plenty of reasons to do it now. I got I got kids. We want to stay together. Yeah. We want to have the kids. kids. And you know, and the thing is, the the, the compl com complex thing about it is that we share the kids, and that w makes us happy together. Like, we, right. as parents... We're fucking the best friends in the world. We watch our kids do fun shit, and it's hugely rewarding. That's the two your of us. common denominator there. Yeah, exactly. The so, like, we'll be hissing at each other. I hate you. I'll never suck your dick again. Fuck you, you whole fucking heart. Oh, look. Oh, oh look what she did. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, isn't that cute? So we do, but that joy that we share with the kids, totally real, and it's actually making life worth living. So that's the thing that's complicated about it. When I picture leaving, I'm not only sad to think of not being with my kids every day, which I am. I'm also sad about her. She's part of that. She's part of our. You won't. Have, you won't be able to share that with her. No, that and that's bigger. And actually, you know, look, I'm almost forty. My dick is finally starting to get eight percent less hard than it used to be. So, <laughs> so like the fucking joy of having a family is starting to outweigh the sex a little bit. I mean, that's kind of sad because it's like, you know, wow. I'm not going to care that nobody fucks me in a couple of years. Dude, I think wow. really, that makes me want to kill myself. You want to do it when she's laying there sleeping, start eating yeah. her ass like a fucking loon. Go in there and start eating her ass. She'll be like, this loon is She sleeps with the fucking children. So I'd have, to, like, I'd have to move my baby to the side. Go like this. If the kid looks at it, you go. Oh, he inadvertently sticks his face in the baby's ass. <laughs>